Hi, Gates Adams here on, on behalf of Apex Trader Funding. I'm here with Ken from the uh, Denver area. How you doing, Ken? Hello, everybody. I'm Ken. Like he said, I'm from Denver in the Denver area anyway, and I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks. Well, first of all, congratulations on your recent payout with Apex Trader Funding. Um, I know that that's kind of the point that everybody is looking to get to when they move into a funding, uh, work, working with a funding company. So uh, I think this is a, just a great, valuable opportunity to share some some thoughts and insights from your experience and help people move forward in their own uh, trading career, as it were, working with funding companies. So thanks for taking your time today. Yeah, thank you for having the interview available. Appreciate it. My my pleasure. These have been a lot of fun. So, well, first of all, Ken, how long have you been trading? Well, that's a kind of a long story. Um, I've been I started trading in about 2017. Uh, I did penny stocks about for three or two or three years, but total, I think about five years I've been trading actual the markets with money. Okay. Okay. Now, um, at this point, uh, obviously working with Apex, you're, you're trading futures at this point instead of the penny stocks, I presume, right? Or at least primarily through them. That's correct. I've only, I only traded, I've been trading futures now since I would say November of 2020. 20 that's when i first switched to uh futures okay so a couple of years now so building up that experience now um what instruments if you don't mind me asking are, are you typically trading these days well primarily just futures contracts for the e-mini s&p okay. 500 um i look at other other futures vehicles but none of them really interest me as much as the e-mini it's in the middle between NASDAQ, where it just goes up and down several hundred points, Super and like fast. corn that goes up a dollar. So so you're looking at making some kind of income with the E-mini. I know a lot of people like the E-minis uh, just simply because there's a volatility there, but not that fast, fast pace like the NQ sometimes has, especially at open and things like that. So that's uh, that's a pretty common one. I think a lot of guys tend to, uh, a lot of folks tend to like that one. Now, um, are you typically, now do you have just one strategy that you trade or do you trade multiple different strategies? I typically do. I have most success with just using one strategy, even though I, I'm trying to learn a second one only because, you know, we're waiting all day long for your strategy to set up. You feel like you're just, you know, watching the market until it happens, but since I'm working right now with a couple of friends on on a second one, we're using a software called Bookmap okay. just to trade the major liquidity areas now. I, I'm feeling like I can start branching out only because I've 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 had had success with my strategy, but there I feel like I could have more success. I feel like I can grow more as a trader. Good. Spreading it out a little bit, finding some new uh, new fresh trades different areas good yeah now how did you learn the strategy that you're currently trading okay well it wasn't that complex of a story about uh 2020 when i first started to trade futures as you know that the futures index is way different than anything else i've traded mm -hmm. uh be, like penny stocks or options blue chips so I needed something more, uh, I would say the answer is more consistent because you you know how high and, and low the market can move. And if you're on the wrong side, you're never going to get anywhere. So I needed something more concrete. And so I reached out to some Facebook groups that I belong to for any kind of method that would prove consistent. So I had one of my Facebook people um, suggest to use VWAP as an anchor for entering the market. And so far since then, I mean, it's proven pretty consistent and passed the evaluation and got funded. Excellent. Well, um, let me ask you, because now obviously you've gone into the, uh, to the road of going from trading your own funds to, uh, to working with a funding company, working with Apex Trader Funding, um, how long have you been trading with Apex now? 
Okay, well, I started Apex about the beginning of the this year, since February. And since then, though, I've blown up 20 Apex evaluation accounts and two PA accounts. So I've been uh, prof oh, funded twice already, but I just didn't get to pay out twice before. Gotcha. Gotcha. It's a cycle. And a lot of times that uh, that ramp up period, it takes a little getting used to. So um, I, I think that's that's pretty common. Now, without mentioning any names, if you have, have you worked with any other funding companies before? Yeah, yes. I've only fun, uh, worked with one other funding company before Apex. And, and what ended up bringing you to Apex? To be honest with you, I think that it was... Uh, to be honest with you, I think it was only pricing. Right. I think it was only pricing because, uh, I had a buddy mention Apex. And so I looked at it and I saw the difference in pricing. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, now rule wise, uh, based, uh, you know, compared to the company that you were working with before, how do you find the rules in turn the, the trading rules with, uh, with Apex compared to the other company? Uh, more lax. Yeah. I mean, that's what I found because it gave you more room to breathe, as I would say, like it gave you some more space for your trade to develop or it gives you more error room. So room to breathe. Uh, I also kind of liked the more lax rules on your account, your account not blowing up if you hold a trade after a certain time. Uh, there's the rules. I really thought that that allowed me to experiment more uh, and actually stay in a trade the way it needs to be before I actually get, you know, green on it. Um, but it gives it gives me some more time with smaller contracts, of course. But I mean, it gives me more time to stay in a trade. I think one of the things that we found is a lot of times people will come to Apex, especially during one of the big sales and you know, price becomes a factor going in, but we found that one of the reasons or one of the main reasons that people stay is because of the rules. And, uh, you know, as you said, they're, they're just more lax, especially after they figured out how to basically just auto close trades at, at, at close. So nobody got stuck with their, with their trades after closing and, and losing an account over that. So I think that helped a lot. Um, have you, uh, have you, uh, had any, uh, you know, any dealing with their customer support team? Yes, I have some dealings only when I have questions. Of course, they're really fast to answer. And there's several ways to get a response. You can look at the frequently asked questions. There's some informative YouTubes uh, on YouTube. And you can get an answer if you do the research. But if you need to ask somebody, say your case is very unique. Yeah, definitely. The customer support staff is pretty friendly. Awesome. Awesome. Well, if you uh, were talking to somebody who was just getting started and, and looking at uh, setting up an evaluation and getting funded, what advice would you give a new trader new coming into the uh, to well, the world of well, Apex? How new are we talking? Have we have we traded a couple of years? Have Are we not ever traded on anything ever? I think we're talking about somebody who could reasonably pass an evaluation, but just hasn't worked with a funding company before. Okay. Well, a lot of the first time I would say hesitations from somebody that I talk to is literally the, the time span that it takes to get funded and paid out. Mm -hmm. So I would definitely tell them that trading is a lifelong journey. So even though that it's a longer time span than other trading companies, um, prop trading companies, you are going to be a trader longer than that anyway. So you know, don't hesitate starting Apex because of the time that it takes for you to be a pay to be a funded trader and paid out. Excellent. Yeah, and I think um, what are we at now? Twenty days minimum before. Yeah, uh, I think it's. Yeah, I think it's ten days for your valuation account, and then twenty five for funding okay. to get paid out. That's right. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I, uh, I sure appreciate it. Um, any last uh, thoughts or words of wisdom for traders uh, getting started? Uh, to get started, I recommend do a little SIM trading. That would save you some bucks after not having to do resets so much. 
Mm -hmm. uh, get a strategy down, become consistent in your strategy. Don't worry about the money. Uh, just worry about entering the market consistently. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I sure appreciate your time today. This has been a lot of fun. Um, and hopefully this will bring a lot of value to other traders that are looking to go down the same path that you're going, you've gone down and uh, looking to get, uh, get funded and paid out as well. And we absolutely look forward to seeing you through some additional payouts and, and uh, hopefully some additional interviews as uh, you continue to build that success. Great, Gates. Yeah, it was a lot of fun doing this interview. Really appreciate you guys doing stuff like this. I, I appreciate your time as well. And if there's anything you need, just let us know and we'll do what we can. Okay, Gates. Have, Have a great, great rest of the day. You as well. Take Bye -bye. care.